Lightel One users, this is your host from Assassin Phone Lightel One Development. So, uh, in this video, we will be seeing how to install the Pixel Experience Custom ROM for on Zenfone Light L1. The method is pretty same like earlier uh, Sakura OS or Lineage OS or whichever I'm using right now. It is CR Drive. So the procedures are same, but there are some difference or some uh, extra steps you have to do while installing the AOSP based ROM or at least while converting from Lineage or based OS to AOSP based ROMs. So let me share, show you how to do that. First, uh, you will need two files. One is um, one is the firmware file, which is the Pi Beta's firmware file. It like comes like 160 MB, so which you can download from the link in the description. Thank you, Raza, for making this one. And the second is the Pixel Experience itself. It was made by uh, Salim, who built the or uh, who built and maintaining the Maxim on uh, Pixel Experience. So uh, you need both the files. You don't need G apps because the Pixel Experience already itself contains the EG app. So once you have the files, you need a TWRP Android 10, which is decryptor. So once you have the file, just reboot to recovery. Once you get inside the recovery, just go to wipe and format the data. That will help the to encrypt the uh, storage while uh, installing the custom room. So and then system data vendor cache. So five things you just select and format. Once you have a formatted data and wipe that file partitions, go to install and SD card and the partition where you have the firmware file. Just select that and also you can select add more zip and you can select pixel experience. So now you have two files in a row. Just select that one. First, it's installing the firmware file which was pulled from uh, Pi Beta. And the second one is Pixel Experience ROM itself. So I also would like to add on that if you are in uh, Zenue Warrior or something like that, you no need to update to Pi Beta or something like that. You just need to install this firmware file and then this custom ROM. It will fix whichever issue happens while um, when uh, you uh, found the issue uh, issue of uh, boot loop or something like that. So once it got installed, just wipe cache and dalvik, which is not required, but I always do. And then uh, reboot to system. It will say there is no OS, so if you found that one, just turn off. That's fine. So once it is turned off, just turn on. Usually the first boot is failing in Pixel Experience, so don't panic, it will boot. Just you need to turn off or restart one time extra. So yeah, currently the device is booting. Just will wait for some time. The first boot always takes a lot of time in uh, um, Pixel experience as it is coming with uh, G apps. So we'll be patient.
okay finally it got booted after uh, two to three minutes something and now you know, the stairs fine and skip I'm not going to do any FRP I'm just showing you skip and usually some of you guys uh, by default enable all the google features like uh, automatic backup or automatic uh, location scanning and everything and all this sending user uh, diagnostic data so these are all feature um, sucks the uh, memory and data in the background most of the time what i do is while I, uh, doing frp i just turn off everything and then i will click accept not now skip okay so now we are in our home screen everything is finished up so after some time when you get time just you can log into your google account and it will work fine so no issues and thank you for watching we'll see you in the next good one